MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Oakland A's and the Houston Astros. It's Astros baseball, and it's next on the show. Justin Verlander, a Virginia-born right-hander, gets the ball to start this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a lot of fun. This guy won the Cy Young Award last year in the AL, so he knows how to pitch. And one of the things he does effectively, he attacks the strike zone. And if he does that, he should be fun to watch in this one. Now at the plate, Marcus Semien. He will lead this one off today. The 1-1. One, one. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So a good start to the inning for the A's as their leadoff hitter reaches base safely. Batting second, the center fielder, number 22. Into the box now, Ramon Laureano. To two balls and two strikes now. And set up working the plate is Matthew Ross, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey, d -Row, this is a pitcher's best friend. Matthew Ross, very wide strike zone. Yeah, no excuses from the offense today. You know coming in, when you see the lineup card and Matt Ross is behind the dish, you better be aggressive. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. That was some nice execution hurt. on that pitch. Spotted it nicely Matt. down around the bottom yeah. of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. At the plate, Matt Chapman. Left center, base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. This guy just feasts on the snakes up in the zone, and, and that's exactly what he gets right here. A belt-high pitch, he drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. To the plate now, Matt Olson. Two and one to the A's first baseman. Even now, two and two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Hits this one hard the other way. And that's through into left to base hit. One run scores. The throw to the plate. But this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores. Hey, one of the things you want to do, Dior, was strike early, and they've done just that with a big hit driving in, too. Yeah, Dan, great to grab an early lead right there, especially when you could throw up a crooked number for your pitcher. Into the box, Mark Canna. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And he struck him out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. So now to the plate, Chris Davis hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Olsen leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2-2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. 
So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The A's lead this one two to nothing. Sean Manaya is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the A's. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Stepping up now, George Springer. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Nope. Never tempted to swing at that ball down nope. low. It's ball three. Jose Altuve is on deck. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Hit to third. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. And that's one of those plays that stay with you for an entire game. You want to get the first out on what appears to be a routine play, but you can't get it done. The good news, he has some time to redeem himself. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. His career numbers against Manaya. He's got five base hits in 29 at-bats. He also has one home run. Now the one and one pitch takes a pass and misses that strike two it's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high that can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters the one two Nobody out, runner on first. He loses him on ball four. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. And he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. Now the 2-1 is strike two swinging. <laughs> Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Batting four. And that'll bring up Alex Brickman. First and second now. One man out. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. From the stretch. Yuli Gurriel is on deck. Swing by Bregman and a ball hit well to deep left. Left fielder looking up. Gone!
So a three run blast to straight away left. And the Astros will move out in front here three to two. This is exactly what you want your offense to do, to get your fans involved. Bottom of the first inning, let's get it started early with a homer. At the plate now, Yuli Gurriel. Guriel behind a ball and two strikes. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Fouled away. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. On he pops it up. Kemp calls for it, and he makes the catch for the second out. The designated hitter, your dog, Alvarez. Striding in for Houston, Jordan Alvarez, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Three runs already home here. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that... There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field, and it's given the Astros a 4-2 lead. Well, it's very early, but he's looked out of sorts from the beginning. They've already roughed him up for two homers, and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or he blows up. Could go either way at this point. Here's Carlos Correa now, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Four runs here in this half inning. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Here's the pitch. Inside ball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Loriano is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So four runs in the inning and they come on the strength of the two big flies. One inning in the books here. It's the Astros four and the A's two. Here's Robbie Grossman. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. A ball and two strikes. And he fouls this one off. The one-two. Tapped out in front of home. 
Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting it. The catcher, Sean Murphy. Striding in for Oakland, Sean Murphy, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Catch made there by Altuve, and there are two gone now. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. So bases are empty here with two gone. And striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. The 1-1 home. You got two balls, one strike. Ah, and he got him to chase after a bad one there. Two and two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. A's are gone in order. They trail it here four to two. Settling in now, Martin Maldonado. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, he just isn't that sharp on the mound right now. Had a rough start in the first inning, and now he's falling behind out of the gate here in the second. Some adjustments need to be made and fast. Fastball taken high, and it's 3-1 and one now. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to 3-2 and two now. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Back up the middle. And this is going to scoot on through into center for a base hit leading off the inning. Well, Matt, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. Next up for the Strohs, Miles Straw. Pitch is piling up 44 and he's not clear of the second yet. Two and one. He might still be thrown off from that first inning guys. He got knocked around pretty good and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Set and the 2 1 pitch. Full count. George Springer will be next. set here's the three and two right side and that is into right field a base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now the right fielder we talk about a rough one for this guy falls behind in the first thing and back to back singles here in the second this could be a short night for this pitcher yeah they're passing the baton on the offensive side putting it on this pitcher early into the box now George Springer now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Oh, a 
diving effort as it's off his glove. But the recovery will come too late, and the bases are loaded now. Looks like the pitching coach is going to come out and have a word with him. Don't like to see that in the second inning, but once he makes sure he's okay physically, I'm sure it'll be just words of encouragement the rest of the way. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Not just yet. It's ball two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Bases loaded here. Nobody out. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Set to deal on two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. The three-two pitch. away the three two one more time and he'll get to see another one it'll be the tenth pitch of this at bat four foul balls in this AB pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away oh and it misses ball four and that will force home a run and it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful, too. And here he is again still with the bases loaded. Stepping into the box, Michael Brantley. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. Two balls and a strike to count. Tight spot. Bases loaded. Nobody out. In there, two and two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. Here now, the two two. We got full count. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. lifted down the line and left and they can't run it down coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning skied into straightaway right catch is made here in right and here comes the runner from third and the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's now six to two. Always now productive to score so runs when you can. Third. And that Tyler. sacrifice fly right there drives there. home the second run of the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Alex Bregman. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Yeah, and his last that bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Nope, the ball. And there's ball two now. Still only one out in the inning. Ball. 
And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Lined into right, a base hit. And this will bang up against the wall. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. And he'll pull into second with one away. Well, we've already had some hard hit balls in the first two innings here. And here's another one. Absolutely jumped off his bat and into the outfield, bringing another run home here in the early going. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So the pitching line will not be kind to him here this afternoon as he just pretty much could not get anything working. Paul Blackburn enters from the pen in just the second inning so they'll hope to get some length out of him and have him stay out there for a while. So here's Yuli Gurriel. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt. Down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. Runners are at second and third with one down. Hit down the line at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. That grounder was hard hit. And sometimes the runner at the hitter will have to hold on a ball like that. But he was off on contact. And they opted to take the out at first instead. the Astros designated hitter Jordan Alvarez he got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one and this one runs a little too far in ball two this one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time this is where you cash your checks right here three one you're one of the best hitters in the game you live for situations like this. Men on third with two down. And the count will be full. Hit down the third baseline. And this is going to be a foul ball. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he looks at one that misses. And that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count. And it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. So runners at the corners with two gone. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. Two and one. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2 2 down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. From the stretch. Line drive and that's a base hit into center field. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. Now a 9-2 ball game. Now batter. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle.
Stepping in now, Martin Maldonado. And here's one that misses to the Houston catcher. It's two and one now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Hit on the ground for Simeon at short. Scooped up. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. All in all, ten men come to the plate and five score. We play two full. Houston leads this one nine to two. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as the Cal Berkeley product Marcus Simeon is the first to bat in the inning. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Fouled off. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up, and he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. Now batting, number 22. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Altuve onto the grass. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Next up for the A's, Matt Chapman. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. Payoff pitch one more time. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Matt Olson. Man at first after the two out walk. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Two out with the man at first. Fouled away. The 2-2. Two -two is a wave and a miss he struck him out one left for Oakland they're down by a touchdown it's nine to two and we're back for the bottom of the third let's check in with Heidi Watney Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros' offense with Houston's manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said forcing the opposing starter out of the game before the third inning and posting a bunch of runs right out of the gate was huge for them from a confidence standpoint and for their outlook moving forward in this game. The key now is keeping their foot on the gas pedal, Matt. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Miles Straw. Now the three and two pitch. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. As if things aren't tough enough here playing in this hostile environment, he walks the leadoff hitter. And oh, yeah, he's a threat to run every time he gets on base. Not the way he wanted to start this outing. Here's George Springer, and if you remember, he took home a Silver Slugger Award for AL Outfielders a year ago. Now the one and one pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. 
And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Digging in once again, Jose Altuve. Runner at first here, one man out. Well struck, but foul over by the coaching box. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. takes ball four again and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one well he's really laboring in the early going here that's his third walk of the game already we'll see if he can get it together or if this is just one of those days where he's going to have to grind his way through this start striding in Michael Brantley earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the now most batter. difficult calls Third for an ump to make. Taking a look now at left. show motion, the batter yeah. doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Two men are on with two men out. Popped up. And Kemp is under it to make the catch for route number three. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't touch that dial, or the remote for that matter. More on the show right after this. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Mark Canna. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Hit the other way out toward right field. Springer on the run. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. It's a nice job by the batter right there. Able to fight off a high fastball and slap it the other way for a single. Chris Davis. In now, Chris Davis starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. The 2 1 home. Ball, oh, that's too high. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. When you get yourself to a 3 1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish couldn't get the bat on it so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him the three two pitch and that misses as Davis will reach its ball four huge innings have begun with much less I can tell you that first and second no out and the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here Digging in, Robbie Grossman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now.
Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. The 3 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. Two runs, four hits, and one error on the Oakland line score. And he lays off their ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. And things are not looking good here in the fourth inning. That's the second walk of the frame. Good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. Now to the plate, Sean Murphy. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-1 one, one home. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here and there's one down now I can tell you from experience bases loaded nobody out and you get an infield pop up that feels just as good as a strikeout and now he's just a double play ball away from getting out of this mess coming to the plate now Tony Kemp he was a strikeout victim in his first try Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Now the three and two pitch. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. The bat, number 10. Good bat. So the bases are loaded here with one man gone. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. A shortstop behind with a one and two count. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Classic slider down Number and away one, for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Into the box, Ramon Laureano. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. I kind of like the aggressive attitude right here. I know he's in a jam. What does he do? He goes to his best stuff, and that's the fastball. The one two. Two ball. Two strike. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. The 2-2. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Full count. Here it comes. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. A's have to settle for just the one. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Astros lead this one nine to three. Now the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. The one one. Popped him up. Olsen in foul ground. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. To two balls and two strikes now.
Hit on the ground to third. Chapman brings it in. Throw on to first in time, one away. The batter, the designated hitter, your dog, Alvarez. Ready for another chance, Jordan Alvarez. It was a walk in his last trip. Oh, good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. One out, nobody on. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Hit hard to the right side. He's got it. There's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. The 1-1 one -one home. Correa, left field and carrying well. Looking up is the left fielder. a solo shot here for Carlos Correa as this is now a seven run ball game. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result. At the plate, Martin Maldonado nearly got the inside but ruled the ball. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two-seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Murphy moving to his left, and that ends the inning. One more for the Astros, and it comes on this solo homer. We're through four. It's the Astros 10 and the A's 3. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And up next, the power-hitting third baseman, Matt Chapman. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off. Throw a lot of pitches and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. Digging in to try it again, Matt Olson. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The 1 1 home. Misses, ball two. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. Matt Olson connects for a two run home run as they try to claw back. It's a five run deficit. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Standing in now, Mark Canna. Fastball called strike, one and two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Five runs, five hits, and one error on the Oakland line score. 
And it's fouled away. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Under it is Altuve, and he's got it for the first out. Now batting. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the big-time power bat of right-handed hitter Chris Davis. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Three balls and two strikes. A full count to the A's DH. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. The left fielder, number eight. Digging in Robbie. now, Robbie Grossman. Oh. It was a walk in his last trip. The one two. Misses for the second ball. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. But the athletic strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's the Astros 10 and the A's 5. Stepping into the box, Miles Straw. It was a walk in his last trip. Pitch on the way. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder giving chase. He can't get to it. This one's down. Hey, another leadoff knock right there. The this game has been full of offense, full of traffic on the base pass. Let's see who's going to get that big double in the gap to clear him. Back to the top of the order now, and that brings in George Springer. First with no outs here. Hit hard back up the middle. Bare handed for one. Relay to Olsen and they turn the double play. Now back. When a glove toss is executed successfully, it's a thing of beauty. When it fails, boy, does it look ugly. Here we get to see a great example of it to begin a double play. Quick and accurate with the flip. And they get the two outs. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Jose Altuve. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Turning for second is Altuve. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. That was a great job of driving that ball. Extending his arms very well. Was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. At the plate now, Michael Brantley. 
That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The next three two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Astros leave one. They still lead it, though, 10 to 5. Brad Peacock takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 41, Brad Peacock. In now, Sean Murphy. 0 for 2 for him so far. He's flied out and popped out. Now the one and one pitch. Oh, that's out. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now the 2 1. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. So now to the plate, Tony Kemp. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now back. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Marcus Semyon He's working on a one for three thus far. The 2-1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The 2-2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. There is Altuve. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. 1-2-3 go the A's. They've got some work to do. It's 10 to 5. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Alex Bregman. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. And that's out number one. One away for the Astros here in the sixth. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. Drilled on the ground to short. Taken in by Simeon. And there are two away now. Now 
Into the box now, Jordan Alvarez. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Softly hit toward the hole. Fielded cleanly. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Astros. They still lead it, though, 10 to 5. set for the start of the inning and standing in the outfielder Ramon Laureano it doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one well that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher d row you make a really good pitch and yet this guy's so big and so strong he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit yeah you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there and you thank your lucky stars that's a nice ab into the box now matt chapman count even at two and two nobody out runner on first And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. And he fouls this one off. Two two here it is. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. Stepping in now, Matt Olson. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Runners on first with one down. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Altuve for one. Over to Guriel for an inning-ending double play. Hayes go quietly there. They've got some work to do. It's 10-5. to five. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. New pitcher coming on now, the right-hander, Yusmero Petit. Number 36, Yusmero Petit. Bottom of the inning now, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Carlos Correa. Now the 2 1. We got a full count. Martin Maldonado waits on deck. The 3 2 pitch. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly into the Crawford boxes and gone. So a solo shot here to left center field. His second home run of the game as it's now a six-run ball game.
to the plate now. Martin Maldonado. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Kenna is over a few steps as he puts it away for the first out. The bat. Now in the box, Miles Straw. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Ready with the one and two. Hit on the ground out to short. And that's the second out. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, George Springer. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Oh, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Center fielder going back. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo home run here off the bat of George Springer as this is now a seven-run ball game. These guys are really putting on a show here. That dinger brings the total up to five for the game so far. Amazing stuff today, guys. Yeah, Matty D. How about this, D. Rowe? If you come to watch well, offense, you pick the right game to come, come and see. Four, five yeah. bombs from one team. Everybody in the lineup. They're, they're making fun right now of the guys who don't have a homer in this one. J.B. Wendelkin comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Standing in now, Jose Altuve lifts it into the air to shallow center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the now baseball back. season. Left Bottom field. line is this guy Left has bat-to-ball skills. Right you knew he was going to get hot eventually. Plate now, Michael Brantley. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it two and one. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. The two-one will not catch the zone, ball three. Alex Bregman would be next. Three and one pitch. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a two run shot to left center as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. plate Alex Bregman well off the plate with the change of pace that's ball two and he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired so four runs in the inning but of note there was that they came on the strength of three home runs eighth inning coming up the Astros lead it 14 to five. Ready to begin the eighth, and next it'll be the outfielder, Mark Canna. And it 
it's fouled away. And now time is called as a beach ball has made its way out into left field here. The one two is taken for ball two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Now Sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there. The three two pitch. Hit well down the left field line but back into the crowd foul. Fouled off. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at bat. And right into the shift. Bregman has it. And there's out number two. Now back. Striding into the box. Robbie Grossman. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. A solo shot here to straight away right field as it's now down to an eight run ball game. This has been quite a hitting display from both sides. That's home run number eight on the day. Dan, they're absolutely knocking the cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting at night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D-Ro, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter. And so far, that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. And the 3 1. Full count now. Two out, nobody on. And he misses ball four. The batter number five, second base, Tony. Kemp. Now at the play, Tony Kemp. One one home. A bouncer up the middle. Altuve to his right. He has it. He'll go to Correa for the force, and that ends the inning. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. The Astros on top, 14 to six. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and here comes the first baseman, Yuli Gurriel. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count in his favor, three and one. He's set. Here's the three one. Skied into straightaway right. Kenna is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first out. The batter, Striding forward now is the DH, Jordan Alvarez. Jordan. He was a ground out victim Alvarez. last time up. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen, the batter, if you can keep one. that pitch in your back Good pocket job. and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually Correa. hitters, they don't stand a chance.
in now Carlos Correa hit out of play and it's a full count now. Now the three and two pitch is a wave and a miss he struck him out. Astros go down one two three. They still lead this one by a comfortable margin. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Marcus Semyon starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. A one one. Now a swing and a deep drive to left and it ain't coming back. It's up and out of here into the archways. It's a solo shot for Marcus Simeon but they still face a seven run deficit. Stavinsky, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Into the box, Ramon Laureano. A little bit outside. Two and one. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, Dero, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches. And if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day. And we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, back. but instead Third he gets the fastball back. way late. Had no yeah. chance to put that ball in play. To the plate now, Matt Chapman. One and two now. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. Lays off two and two now. Now the Astros are going to get a left hander up and cranking out in the bullpen. Strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. Standing in now, Matt Olson. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Grounded back up the middle, right to him. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. 
It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. 14-7, to the final tally here. The Strohs put up a four spot in the opening frame on the way to victory. Justin Verlander pitches well enough to get the W. Sean Manaya allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 58 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.